So, you're more than you know in these physical bodies. Have you been listening to us for a little while? Yes. Do you understand that law of attraction is the manager of the universe? And that you get what you think about whether you want it or not? And that your true work and what we want to talk about in these hours that we are together is your managing of your own vibrational point of attraction, which is made up of the thoughts you think and is indicated to you by the emotions that you feel. So you could say your mood is your true indicator of how you are managing your vibrational gap. And the reason that we say gap is because there are two aspects of you that are offering vibrational vantage points and that law of attraction is responding to. There is your inner being who sees your world through inner being eyes which is resistance free by the way every time you ask for something that's exactly what your inner being sees and as law of attraction responds to your inner being that's a powerful response and lots of momentum gets going and you know why because your inner being offers no resistance whatsoever about your desires who that's a good friend your inner being offers absolutely no resistance about your desires you do sometimes so when you offer resistance about your desires, you cause a vibrational difference between who you really are as spirit and as source and as inner being, where all of your desires are, this new reality, this vibrational reality that you've created. We are making this gesture because we are wanting you to sense the reality of this vibrational reality. It's so real, we gave it a name, we called it your vortex. It's your vibrational reality, it's your vortex wrote two books about it we want so much for you to accept that there is a vibrational version a vibrational version that is in the process depending upon what you're thinking about of becoming vibrations to thoughts and thoughts to impulses and impulses to thoughts and words and actions to things thoughts turning to things thoughts turning to things thoughts turning to things and it's the natural evolution here's a good way of looking at this we've not said this before but this is an, an analogy that you will hear really clearly. So imagine a baby in the womb. And let's call that for our analogy, the vortex. So the baby is in the process of becoming in the womb, yes? And you don't want the baby to come into reality, into physical reality, until it's ready to. Would you agree to that? So it's in the process of becoming. And when it gets ready, when the vibration has accomplished the creation of it then the baby is born into the physical reality and once the baby is born there's still a lot more growing up to do there's a lot more becoming to become you are following it's a baby and then it's not and then it's a toddler and then it's a teenager Ooh, let's get that word and then <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. In other words, there's this continual progression. And so that's the way all of your creations are. Not just your physical human creations. All creations are that way. So we want you to realize that this gestation period is taking form. And unlike the baby that has a gestation period of around nine months, the vibrations that are in your vibrational reality, they can come about much quicker and are this is the point we're wanting to make to you. They are ready to be born long before you give birth to them, usually. Long before you let them in. Because you keep thinking in opposition to them rather than getting into the receiving mode where you can realize them into your reality. This is the primary point that we're making with this new analogy. When you're in the receiving mode and you allow yourself, therefore, to receive this new creation, there is still so much more thoughts turning to things that it is about. But you, oh, here's a way of putting it. You want your infant thoughts to grow up instantly. You want them to instantly become the full manifestation, which means you're going to miss out on all those growing up years. You're going to miss the joy of the journey of you receiving and savoring and watching things come into place and take form. Does that make sense to you? And so we want to talk to you about managing that gap. We want you to begin to savor more whatever 
realized phase you are in in whatever creation it is so that you can begin enjoying more and more and more and more and more of the unfolding of your own creation you are a creator it's why you're here and you knew it would be fun and it is when we ask you at the beginning of most gatherings do you know what you want we often ask are you enjoying the unfolding are you enjoying the receiving or the giving birth to the new desires and sometimes you say yes and often your words say yes but your vibrations say yes. hell no <laughs> because you're not enjoying it and the reason you're not enjoying it is because you're not a vibrational match to it so you've given birth to something that you're opposing so you've got split energy about it which is not pleasant so we just want to make one strong statement and then we want to open these couple of days up to conversing with you about what's important to you here's the strong statement satisfaction which is so significant and important to your life experience to all of us only exists when you are moving in the direction of your desires when you move in opposition to your desires with a bogus belief and we just want to say right out loud here anything that you're thinking that is in opposition to your desire is bogus because those beliefs don't matter they're just thoughts you keep thinking and you don't do it deliberately we know you are not deliberately sabotaging yourself you don't wake up every morning and say let's see what new idea can I give birth to that I can work against with my beliefs <laughs> how can I torture myself today let's see life will help me know I want this but I won't think about that I'll think about where I am now in fact I'll justify where I am just to make myself feel a little better about not really getting what I want I'll explain that nobody has the money that I want hardly anybody has the money and those that have it got it in bad bad ways and I don't want to be bad in other words you'll keep talking about the floor <laughs> and not let yourself have what you really want and we think once you understand this Esther has new epiphany about this because she's been listening to us talking for years and years and years that you get what you think about but she's on to new creations all the time there are all kinds of wonderful things happening in her, in her life just not the floor <laughs> and it's usually not a problem because she's usually not there but when she gets there it's a problem <laughs> because she can't not look at it now we could offer her a lot of really good ideas about how not to look at the floor or how to make herself feel better about the floor that looks the way that it looks but why would we ever try to talk Esther out of the improvement that she desires do you think that infinite intelligence teachers that teach deliberate creation teachers that teach you that you can be or do or have anything that you desire would ever try to say to you just suck it up and deal with it just live with it like it is especially if it's something that you're gonna see on a pretty regular basis like your husband or your wife or your children you got to find ways of perceiving them or whatever it is in the way that your inner being does because here's the thing you cannot create in anyone else's reality and while we use the example of the floor which is Esther's creation and it is within her wherewithal to make it the way she wants it to be there are a whole lot of things that are not pleasing and a whole lot of people that you can't change you can't change you don't have the right to change even if they are your kids you don't have the right to change because they came to explore and to give birth to their desires and to follow the stream of their own vibrational calling they didn't come to do what you think that they should do in order to make you feel better they didn't come as conditional servants so that they could be the perfect whatever you need to look at at all times so that whenever you look at them you could feel good and that's the biggest mistake that most humans make about most humans all the lovable ones you really talk about them a lot oh, Oh, you're so easy to love all I have to do is look at you or think of you or be with you and I'm tuned in tapped in turned on it's so easy to see you exactly as my inner being sees me you lovable lovable one but you <laughs> why don't you be more like that and we say these are adjustments that you must make but the adjustment isn't what you think the adjustment is coming into alignment with your own inner being so here's a question we can feel it popping up around the room do you think that if Esther came into alignment with her own inner being that she would be able to accept the floor as it is your logic tells you that that's what we've been teaching you all these years 
Well, we're here to tell you today we're teaching you something different than you just thought because we're not asking you to settle for something that you don't want Esther keeps renewing her desire for a floor definitely a different floor than she first envisioned she wants something different than she has and she can have something different than she has you know it's funny because you might think Esther's got plenty of money she can afford that new floor and you think if I have the money and I could afford anything then I just go get it because you think it's money that makes the difference and it isn't it's alignment Esther certainly has the money to get a new floor but because her vibration is all jacked up about it she can't find the tile or the layer it, nothing works out there's not enough money you can't compensate with action for vibration that is crossways and so it's not about money it's about vibration money follows money follows vibration and so do other things but it's possible for you to hold certain things in vibrational discord and just deprive yourself of what you want relative to that because you have beliefs about it that are preventing you from getting what you want we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs> have a lovely time in this beautiful environment so you have some things you want to talk about we want to encourage you to relax in the attitude that we're gonna get it we're going to have some leading-edge discussions new questions are even going to evolve as these hours move forward over these two days and we know for sure that you're going to find the soothing of alignment and that some things that have been in your way after we've had some full discussions about them will no longer be in your way this is an opportunity for you to get into the receiving mode and as we're together playing to practice a vibration long enough in these hours to significantly change your point of attraction so let's just have fun with this and also we know for sure that you're going to appreciate some who get into the hot seat that activate conversations that are really meaningful to you so we thank you for coming and we're going to thank you in advance for the leading edge conversation that you are about to provide to all that is all right so oh there's a lot of trouble in this room <laughs> all right so now we understand where you're at right now and it's not going to be just like this very long so let's let the games begin yes <laughs>